Jason with Dead Lead Air here, guys. So I'm just bringing you a brief video today about my dynamic and the kit I have going on. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it brief. Please be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, guys. Like I said, this is just going to be going over the kit I have, how I purchased this air gun from northeastairguns.com, uh, and um, how pleasant that experience was, guys. So we'll go ahead and bring you forward here so we can kind of go tip to, um, tip to butt and um, go ahead and show that to you. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and go tip to butt, like grand thumb style here. Um, starting with my Donnie FL Yokozuna. Phenomenal suppressor. Um, I have two additional baffles, so it's a little bit shorter. Um, inch and a half shorter, probably, um, without that on there. Now, me specifically, with this 30 cal, with the longer plenum, have not had any point of impact shift with this. Now, my 30 cal, I did. Just getting it out there. Now, this is the Yokozuna. This is their new, if you haven't seen it, the quick release suppressor. And it's a whole system. It does have a pretty hefty spring in there, so you do kind of got to push in and turn, which is good. No wobble. I've taken it on and off and shot. No point of in-check shift from taking the suppressor on and off. Um, now, that Donnie FL suppressor is phenomenal. Um, workmanship, just, it is not just a suppressor, though. You guys have to realize that this is an air stripper and suppressor. So, um, I don't want to take it apart right now because I did it in another video. You guys should check that out. So, moving forward... We have the UTG bipod. Now, this is my first time buying anything that's really considered heavy duty from UTG. I have their my first bipod from them. I still own. It still works. It's a little loose and wobbly over the years, but it served me well. This is a very nice, affordable to get you in the heavy duty bipods. This was 150. Um, are there better brands out there? Yes. And if those better brands would like to sponsor me and send me their stuff to test, I would love to do it. But I can't afford this and the five $600 version of that right now. So moving forward, we'll jump to the FX um, Pocket Chronograph. An absolute must if you're getting to the into the air gun in your world. You realize that for tuning your gun, it's awesome to have that not only is it awesome i would say it's necessary if you really want to get a good tune on your gun yourself and not rely on other people to do it for you and then i also have the screen that comes with or not comes with that i purchased separately so but this is the original hopefully i'll get the new smaller one soon and then moving forward um is the saber tactical rail now this is phenomenal workmanship. I'm going to try to keep it short when I talk about this stuff, guys. But when I say that this is phenomenal workmanship, I'm comparing this to the firearm world of Midwest Industries or HB Industries rails, guys. If you guys shoot firearms and you're coming over to this world, I'm just letting you know that this is a far, far more superior I mean, the FX one's okay, but this is just phenomenal work, how it has the weights in the in the um, rail. I can't say enough about it. I'm not sponsored by Sabre Tactical, just so you know. I paid for every single thing on this gun, except for the suppressor. And Donnie did not tell me to say anything. I just requested it for the 357 to test and... Um, we went ahead and sent me one and told me, hey, give your honest opinion of it. And, and I love it. I absolutely love it. And we will be testing it against the 30 cal on the behemoth as soon as my gun, my 30 cal gun gets back from the shop. So now what else came with the gun stock? None of this right here, right? So this is a 480 cc bottle with the drop down. Donnie, uh, not Donnie FL, Sabre Tactical um, bottle adapters, the drop down, and the Sabre Tactical, I'm pretty sure I said Sabre Tactical rail. I'm running a fever, guys, so I apologize. 
And then um, if you see this little gadget here, it's an O-Hunt um, angle finder. We're actually getting the um, one from Eagle Vision instead. Um, I just like it better. This one I had to angle the back piece to find two screws that lined up. Actually worked. I don't know how that happened, but it did. But we're actually going to get the Eagle Vision one. Um, also, people ask me what this is. This is a second zero. This one's 11 MOA. Um, I won't really get into that right now. We'll, we'll discuss that at a later time, but it's for extending the amount of clicks that you have in your scope, okay? As well as the Eagle Vision rails. Um, I can't remember what the exact name of these is. It's the IPS um, 34 millimeters. So um, these tilt up like the no limits rings, and um, that also adds more range to your scope or allows you to use the full range of your scope, okay? So it can sit more. It's, and we already have 20 MOA. Say you add another 20, now you're at 40. And that's where your gun, this was sitting at. You, you guys should go over to 68 Whiskey. They explain that super well. Um, moving back from the scope, we obviously have the Tacticam 5.0. Um, awesome scope cam, I love it. N no issues with the Tacticam at all. Uh, battery life. I do have an issue with that. Um, the battery life sucks. And if I leave a battery in it, it drains it regardless. So, um, now my settings, I think I told you guys before, but my settings I'm at on the 120, uh, or 110 on the, um, regulator. And then, of course, 250 bar fill on this gun. And then the 900 and something cc's that I have of air on board. So, with that being said, guys, that's my FX Dynamic Kit. And I hope you guys like the video. Please be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. And again, God bless and keep that air dry. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Again, God bless and keep that air dry.